As retailers and restaurant patios uh, prepare to open on Friday, it's just a small step in the road to recovery. Over the last 16 months, these businesses have taken a financial beating. Many have shut down. Many more are barely surviving. Now, BIAs are using tombstones like the one you can see behind me here to represent the desperate need to help keep neighborhood businesses alive. My store opened back in October of 1991. We've had a lot gone on, but we haven't had anything like what we're going through right now with the pandemic. It's been a tough go for Tex Thomas, the owner of Pro League Sports here in the beach. His livelihood relies on people gathering to watch their favorite teams battle it out, whether in a stadium or in a bar. The family can't come and buy a shirt to say, hey, I want to take Johnny and Michael to see the Jays this afternoon. We don't have that. You can't go to the pub to watch a playoff game. Wear your jerseys with your buddies. So those are all the different avenues that we just don't have right now. His front window now has a picture of a tombstone on display, one of 400 posted on storefronts across Toronto. It's part of a citywide campaign called Buy Toronto Time, encouraging everyone to support their neighborhood businesses before it's too late. You don't want to be the person to come back two weeks later and that store's no longer there. And you're going to say to yourself, well, what happened? Well, this is what happened. You don't support your local stores, they're not going to be around the next time you need something. The comforted light of the corner store late at night, when the baby's crying and you've run out of milk. The bar with the beer woven into the walls. The campaign comes with a powerful commercial highlighting the impact small independent businesses have on communities. Toronto and all of Ontario are going back into lockdown as of midnight tonight. Right now, the average business in Toronto is up to $170,000 in debt, and some will take years to recover. In Greektown alone, 35 businesses have shuttered in the last 16 months. And as the neighborhood faces yet another summer without the taste of the Danforth, the struggle will continue. Absolutely, for a lot of our businesses, like that event, that three day festival, was a, an opportunity for our, our members to welcome like 1.6 million people to this neighborhood and go, you know, and, and make quite a bit of money that actually would tide them over through difficult winter months. And as restaurants prepare to once again open their patios to customers, they'll only be serving a fraction of their normal capacity. The same goes for non-essential retail. And this ad campaign speaks to the support that we need from the, our neighbors, our friends and our community. Um, to make sure that this community stays vibrant. Well, the good news is it sounds like people are ready for patio season. I'm told it is expected to be a very busy weekend, at least here on the Danforth of the restaurants that are taking reservations. They're pretty much booked solid from Friday to Sunday.